everyone, my name is Evie Lupine. Welcome back to my channel and today I have another video for you all. Today we are going to be talking about the Swacom Primo Warming Plug Vibrator. Whoa, that is a lot of things at once and don't worry we are going to be going over everything that this toy can do. Now before we get into the meat of this video, I do just want to make sure that I mentioned that this toy was sent to me by BeYourLover.com. That is where I ended up getting the toy from in exchange for an honest review. They are not monetarily compensating me for anything that I say in this video, for making a video, anything like that. No affiliate codes, no sponsored links, nothing of that nature. Literally just the toy and my honest review that's it, and hopefully if you guys are from my channel, and if you're not, hello, you know that when I do any reviews about sex toys, they are always my pure, honest opinion, my own experience. I do not do reviews or work with people who want me to say specific things. That's just my own personal moral line. So that's that. Before I get into talking about the toy, I am gonna talk about the store, my experience there, and shipping and things like that. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. So in terms of the store, BeYourLover.com, from what I can tell, is a relatively new store. They, don't def they definitely don't have the selection of somewhere like SheVibe or SheBob or places like that, but what they do have is quite a lot of toys from Swacom, which I really like, and they can be difficult to find for some reason, even though they're relatively high quality toys. So being able to have a place that has so many different types of toys from the same company and as well different brands too, a lot of high-end brands, a lot of sort of indie sex toy brands, toys for women, toys for men, lingerie, all of that kind of stuff, you'll be able to find it on their website. I also really like the features of the website, even if they don't have necessarily the widest selection. Namely, I really enjoy that they have a one year warranty program where for 365 days after you buy the toy, they will refund or replace the toy, which is great. I have had a few toys, particularly ones I have purchased on Amazon that have just never charged right or they broke right away or just something about them was wrong and I was never able to get my money back. So sometimes I was out like $120. I'm looking at you, we vibe Tango. You betrayed me and I just, I could never get my money back. And so it was a complete waste and I never actually even got to use the toy that I spent all of that money on. Uh, with this, at least you don't have to worry about having that happen because they do have that warranty, which you may not get from a lot of other third party sellers like uh, sellers on Amazon, for example. As well, they do offer free shipping on orders over $50, which is great because a lot of places have free shipping on like $200, $300, which is like, at that point, if you're able to spend that much money on sex toys, the difference between shipping and not is probably not a big deal to you. But $50, I think most people who are ordering stuff off of this website are gonna meet that threshold, which means more and more people are gonna be able to take advantage of that. And it's definitely worth it because the free shipping is not a bad option. It is not something that's gonna take you three weeks and it's gonna get there by boat and it's gonna get kicked around by USPS. At least when I got my toy, it actually came with signature confirmation, which was great because that meant it wasn't gonna to be stolen off of my porch if I was gone during the day it was safe and then I can go pick it up from the post office or more specifically from my PO box uh, without having to worry about somebody else taking my toy as well they do have a lot of offers deals coupons sales that kind of thing on their website this toy actually retails for $90 but currently it is on sale on their website for I think $63 so pretty big discount and savings there if you are interested in this toy by the end of the review which I hope you are because it's a pretty nice little toy spoiler alert there shipping was fast it was discreet it just arrived in a little brown box not anything fancy and anything weird no like labels all over the place or anything like that so if you're worried about roommates neighbors whatever knowing about what you just purchased that's not going to happen unless they physically open up the box so that's pretty much all i want to say about that let's go ahead and get started talking about the toy again this is the swacom primo warming plug vibrator so as you can see on here, this is the packaging that it comes in. It comes with directions and all that great stuff, but this is a plug vibrator. It has a flared base. This is pretty much to scale and it has a little remote, which is what I was very excited about. I have a few other toys that are remote controlled 
or our you know some other kind of remote toy be that with an app or something like that this is definitely a different style from a lot of the other plug remote control vibrators i found which is why i was instantly hooked to it and i instantly was like yes this is a toy that i want to review so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up now this is possibly one of my favorite boxes i've ever gotten a sex toy in it's open and i pulled out the paperwork so it's not closing perfectly but it looks so fancy it looks like a jewelry box and this is what it looks like when you open it and the, that's the actual toy itself this is definitely something i would keep like if i actually had room on a nightstand or something or in a dresser drawer like this is great this is perfect storage and it looks so fancy by the way guys if you're not from my channel i'm like a bdsm educator so a lot of this review is going to be tailored for like the BDSM applications of this toy but can you imagine like opening this up and like giving this to your partner and like presenting it to them and you know this is going to be part of our scene this evening or this is going to be you know you're gonna wear this when we go to the movies or whatever like it's so fancy so fancy so I really like that because it looks nice it looks classy and I know about class <laughs> not really but I can pretend that I do anyways um it is a remote control vibrator again and it's also rechargeable which is nice so that box comes with the charging cable an extra battery for the remote instruction manual and a little pouch to actually keep it in if you don't want to use the box anyways you guys don't need to see that let's talk about the toy because that's way more fun so this is the actual vibrator itself and it is kind of this sort of dark cerise color and it has this gold uh sort of I, I think it's plastic but this gold sort of tinge to it which really reminds me of the lilo cruise which i reviewed a long time ago probably a, month, a couple months ago now it's one of the first sex toy reviews i did for youtube these are both made out of silicone and abs for this i believe so these are body safe materials and it is also completely waterproof as you can tell there's no like this is the charging port right here guys this little teeny weeny dot right here that's where it charges from which is actually makes me really confident this is actually legitimately waterproof toy because i don't know how many waterproof toys i've had or i've seen that have like giant holes where they get plugged in to be charged i'm like is that really safe though so i'm always skeptical but this does actually seem like legitimately waterproof and when i have tried it around water it has been fine now some more things about this toy this is definitely not the most complex of the remote control vibrators that i've ever used in terms of the number of features that it has it has five levels of intensity and five different patterns now it is a surprisingly powerful toy even though it only has five options i think there's a really good variety in there if you're looking for something that allows you like complete and total control over like really incremental aspects something like a wee vibe may be better for you because that if you're using the app you get complete and total control over it but this i think especially for the price point and how much variety is even within those five functions and five settings is quite a wide variety and a good place to get started if you've never used a remote control vibrator before so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and show you guys what the different settings actually look like now if you want to turn on this toy and this is one of the more annoying design flaws uh, that I have encountered with a sex toy. You can only turn it on directly by actually tapping twice on this toy. You can't do it from the remote. So if you wanna go from a cold start, you have to do it from here. With this one, you can turn it off and put it into a waiting mode that lasts for 10 minutes. And then after that, it will completely go off and then you would need to restart it from here, from the actual toy itself, not from the remote, which is a little bit difficult if you're doing like a long term play thing in public where the submissive doesn't know if the toy is going to be turned on or not uh but it's not the complete end of the world but just something to keep in mind so i'm going to go ahead and turn it on and i'm just going to be quiet while i show you guys the different settings so you can actually hear it it starts out i think like on the middle setting like either the second or the third and then it goes up and then it goes down to the lowest setting and then the second lowest. Now I can control it with the vibrator or with the uh, remote for the vibrator rather. And then it can go through the different settings. 
And you go through the different settings by pressing the power button. And then if you want to increase or decrease the intensity, you press the plus or minus button. This is actually what the controller looks like. It's a little bit difficult to see, but it has a little plus minus button, a power button, and then the warming button. So those are what the vibrations are like. Now let's go ahead and talk about the warming function. Again, this is not as sophisticated as the previous uh, warming toys I've had from Swatcom. I have one called the Emma, which is a wand style vibrator that warms up, where you have a little bit more control over how warm it gets. This one just has a continual warming up function that gets up to 100 degrees. It's actually why I bought this toy is because I really like warmth. I am a person who enjoys being warm, and especially when it's winter time and it's cold, and it's cold in my room, and it's cold in my bed, and it's cold everywhere. I do not want to have to put in a cold glass plug or a cold silicone plug. This makes it so much easier because it warms up, which is really nice, but it does only have that one option, which is it gradually increasing up to 100 degrees, uh, which is not gonna burn you or anything, but it would be nice to have a little bit more control and have it go, you know, warmer than that, colder than that, but it's a really unique feature and not one that I see on a lot of other toys. So it still gets bonus points for that, definitely. And it warms up fairly quickly and at a steady pace. The vibration strength is nice as well. Typically, if I am wearing this out and about, I will use this on the lowest setting because that is what it will last the longest for in terms of battery life. That's what I have found has worked the best. And then if I'm actually using it more like a dildo or as an external vibrator because it definitely works for that as well. Uh, it makes more like sort of pinpoint vibrations. They're definitely more superficial than something like the wand vibrator I've reviewed or any of the more suction or sonic vibrators I've reviewed. Definitely more superficial than those, but they are very powerful. Again, very surprised by how powerful this toy is. I was not expecting it to get to the high level it did when it was at 100% power or on level five, which is the highest setting. So if you're somebody who needs a lot of power in a toy for a rechargeable, this is pretty dang good. So I would definitely not be weary about it, it being too weak or you're not getting any sensation out of it as well. It's not super loud. When you have it inserted, I didn't notice any external noise uh, at all from levels three and four. I didn't turn it up to max for a significant period of time while I had it in, so I can't verify that. But most of the settings I know for a fact are very silent when you have them, you know, and you're going around in public and you're actually wearing it out or wearing it around the house. Now, I do want to note, if you uh, want to wear this, I would recommend wearing it if you plan on walking around, at least if you're using it vaginally, which is probably a good point to make. You'll probably want to wear at least underwear with this. Just on my own personal anatomy, I was not able to actually hold this toy in on my own, like have my actual muscles like grab onto it. I had to wear panties to help keep it in on the actual base itself. But if you're using this anally, it stays in pretty well by itself. You don't, you could just wear it, you know, wear a skirt with it if you're into the whole vibrator, no panties, wearing a short skirt look totally thing that works for this toy. And again, one of the reasons why I like this toy is because it's really versatile. So it does work vaginally, it does work anally, it works as an external clitoral vibrator, it works as a dildo. This is a multitasker of a toy. This can do a lot of things. So if you're interested in trying any of those things out, this is a very unintimidating toy in terms of size. Like here it is compared to my finger. It's like one and a half fingers worth of size. So if you're somebody who is new to anal, if you're new to vaginal penetration, if you don't like big toys, this is great. If you're a size queen, obviously it's not gonna work well for you, but for such a small toy, I think this is a really good place to start. In terms of the range of how far the remote works, I was actually testing it in my house to see how far away I could get away from it until I noticed it wouldn't work anymore. And I could literally walk from one end of my apartment to the other and I could use the, the little thing and it would still make a difference. This is when it was you know, just out like on my, you know, dresser drawer, not necessarily inserted. So that may make a difference if it's inserted and there's clothes on, but as basically as 
far away as I could get the remote for myself while it was inserted, I could still use the remote, which for me has been a big problem with a lot of other toys that I have used in the past. I have had issues with other toys not working as intended. The remote is finicky, the app is finicky, and I haven't had this particular problem with this toy yet. I think if anything, its biggest design flaw, if you want to be able to use this for remote play or public play, is not necessarily the range, but how long the battery lasts, because I think it takes two hours to charge for an hour's worth of use, which, before you freak out about it, you can put it into the 10 minute standby mode, which conserves battery usage. So if you're using it more sporadically rather than continuously, it will last longer, but you're not gonna be able to have it in for like a three hour long excursion, doing errands and things like that. Uh, you'll need to recharge it or it will turn off. But if you're just going for like a quick, you know, coffee or going to the grocery store or something, this is more than able to last that amount. Now in terms of my personal experience, I did really enjoy this toy. I thought the vibrations were really great. I did recently get my VCH pierced, is vertical clitoral hood piercing. I have a whole video about it if you guys wanna know more about what that is. So I did not use this directly, but I found it actually worked pretty well for indirect external stimulation because of this flared base. So what I really like to use this for would be while I would have it inserted while I was wearing it, the vibrations would actually go out around this rim here and it would actually vibrate into my clitoral area when I was using it vaginally, which was really nice because basically all I've been able to do for the last couple weeks is really indirect stimulation around that area and this is great for that. So if you like a mix of external and inter internal vibrations from the vaginal area, this is good for that. Obviously also as well, good for anal stimulation. If you like having the uh, very outside part of your anal sphincter stimulated, because this part of it vibrates as well, you'll definitely get a lot of stimulation in that area too. And that was one of my favorite parts about this toy. Okay, final verdict. Would I recommend this toy? Yes, I would definitely recommend this toy because especially when it's on sale, if you can get it for 60 bucks, not only are you getting a plug, you're getting something you can use vaginally, that you can use anally, that you can use as a dildo, that you can use for clitoral stimulation, and it's remote controlled, so you can definitely use it for public play which is awesome. If you're interested in it, a link to the store and where I got it from will be down below. If you have any comments or questions about the toy, please let me know as well. That comment section is totally open. If you want to know more, if you have any questions, happy to help. If you guys haven't already and you wanna see more from me, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I make videos twice a week. And if you really enjoyed this channel and you wanna help support me, be able to make more videos like this, be able to do more reviews, things like that. The best place to do that is on Patreon. I will link to that down below as well. And until I see you guys next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.